Why don't you start with the shunt and the B negative will go directly into the negative terminal. That's the only thing that'll go uh, through that hole and into the negative terminal. All of your other negative cables will go to the P negative. Uh, your, your motor, your controller, and your negative, uh, if you have an onboard charger from the harness. Uh, you then connect the red cable provided right here with a small screwdriver. That'll run over here and the same thing over here. This will be your motor, your controller, and the other side of your uh, onboard charging harness, all the positives. Uh, once that's done, you take your extension cable, click it into there, and that'll run into your dash mounted state of charge meter. At this point you can turn on the battery and set your state of charge meter. So the first thing to do is to charge the battery to 100%. This can be verified through your Bluetooth app or a green light on your charger. Um, so first thing you do to calibrate it to the correct amp hours is go to the amp hour screen like so, hold down the amp hour button. And this is a Allied Commercial 105. So we'll set it to 105, hit set. And now we go over to the percentage. And since the battery is at 100% charge, we'll let the state of charge meter know it's at 100%. And this is all set up. The shunt will now draw the amps used from this total and give you an accurate percentage. If you're going to be um, not using the car for five or more days, you can power the battery off. However, this will reset the state of charge meter and the same steps need to be taken with charging it to 100%, setting your amp hours, and then hitting the 100% percentage. Um, if you do not turn off the battery, your settings will be saved. Even if you turn the card off or put it in the run tow mode, uh, the settings will be saved.